You've just left your home, and you're walking around looking for food, when suddenly you hear a loud crack, and you feel something hit you in the back. Pain takes over immediately. The last thing you see is a grassy ground below you, and someone walking towards you with a gun. This sounds crazy, but it is the sad truth for the Utah Prairie Dog. The Utah Prairie Dog is an endangered animal that belongs to the squirrel family. Prairie dogs are small creatures only reaching lengths of 12 inches. They are very chubby and have blonde fur. Prairie dogs are herbivores, which means that they eat plants. They are prey, which means that they are eaten by other animals. Sadly, due to many factors, there are few prairie dogs in left in the wild. Less than a hundred, I mean, 10,000 to be exact. Utah prairie dogs live in prairies. The, the prairie biomes take up one quarter of the world and is found on all continents except Antarctica. Temperate grasslands are hot in the summer and cold in the winter. They receive 20 to 35 inches of rainfall on average and the prairies. The dogs with large tails complexes below the surface called architecture. The Utah prairie dogs are in grave danger due to many reasons. As stated before, there are less than 10,000 left in the wild. One of the main reasons of the endangerment is because of shooting. Farmers shoot the prairie dogs because they eat the farmers' crops and compete with them for land. Which brings me to my next reason of endangerment, habitat destruction. Finally, people are poisoning the prairie dogs with special pesticides. These poisons are mass slaughtering the prairie dogs by the hundreds. This massacring has an effect on the rest of the ecosystem too. To begin, the, men, the main predator of the prairie dogs, the black-footed ferret, would lose a very important re food source should the prairie dogs die out. This would eventually lead to a decrease in the population of the ferret, and then soon to them dying out. The plants that the prairie dogs would eat would also be affected. Without the dogs constantly eating them, the plants would have time to multiply and grow in more places. This species is very important to the prairie ecosystem because the dogs keep all the plants in check and make sure that the rest of the ecosystem has enough food to eat. The dog also turns the soil and keeps the fertile for farmers. People need to care about the species because the prairie ecosystem is so fragile, and we need these dogs to keep it in check. As stated earlier, there are less than 10,000 left in the wild. How would you feel if you were shot, poisoned, or had to watch your family slaughtered in front of you? The prairie dogs go through this every day, and it's not fair. We need to help them, and there are many things you can do to help. The first thing you can do is tell people what you've learned today as to raise awareness even further about this poor prairie dog. A second thing you can do is make sure that next time you travel to a prairie or anywhere close to a prairie, try not to step or intrude on the prairie dog's land. Also, if you live near a farm, do not shoot the prairie dogs. They're only trying to help. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.